Hey everyone, in this video we are going to explore about Android Studio, the tool you will use for developing Android apps. But before that, let's recap what we have learned yet. We have installed Android Studio, we have created our first Android project, and we have also ran that app in both emulator and a physical device, which is awesome. So now let's explore more about Android Studio. First open the project that we have created, then open the project panel if it is not already open. This panel contains all of your project files. Now there are couple of different options to organize your files. The project option shows how the files are actually organized in file system. Select the Android system as it is designed to be helpful for Android developers and we are going to use this option. Inside the app folder, there are 5 subfolders Manifest, Java, Generated Java, Race, Generated Trace. Let's check the Java folder. I will expand it. This is where we can find all of the Kotlin code for the app. The Kotlin code contains the core logic for your app. Now you can think why Kotlin code is in Java folder. Well, there are historical reasons for this. As earlier, Android developers used to write core logic for the app in Java. Anyways, this also allows Kotlin to interoperate seamlessly with the code written in Java programming language even in the same project and app. As you can see, there are two test folders. But we are going to ignore those for now and we will focus on this main folder here. In this folder, you will see the main activity class which I will open. This main activity class was created when you created the project and it extends a important class called app compact activity which makes this an activity class. I will get into the details of what is an activity in the next video. For now, uh, just know that this is the main entry point for your app. Closing the Java folder. Now let's go over to the REST folder. Android Studio also created a REST folder which is for resources. Resources in Android are static content that are used in your app. This means things like images, text strings, screen layouts, styles and values such as hexadecimal colors and standard dimensions used for your app's layouts. Android apps separates Kotlin code which is in the Java folder from your resources which are here as much as possible. That makes it much easier to find all of the strings and icons that are used in your app's UI. Also when you change one of these resource files, the change takes effect everywhere that the file is used in your app. Java generated folder contains files that Android Studio generates when it builds the app. Don't edit anything in this folder because your changes might be overwritten when you rebuild the app. But it's useful to know about this folder when you need to look at these files during debugging. Just like Java generated folder, resource generated folder contains resource files that Android Studio generates when it builds the app. Then there's the manifest folder. Inside is a XML file called Android manifest.xml. This file contains essential details about our app that the operating system needs to know about to actually be able to run our app. Let's open it. One essential detail is what activities are actually part of our application. As you can see, main activity is referenced here. If you ever try to use an activity that is not included in the Android manifest, your app will crash because the Android operating system will not know about the existence of your activity class. See this intent filter tag nested in the main activity. It also has this action main tag and this category launcher tag. This intent filter set up with these tags is what tells the operating system where to start our app when the user clicks on the launcher icon. 
the android manifest file is also the place where you would define any permission that your app needs permissions include the ability for your app to read phone contacts send data over internet or access hardware such as devices camera and gps that was a brief introduction but if you want to know more you can find more about android manifest by going through the link in the description below closing the app folder there's one last folder in your app called gradle script all of these scripts were created for you during the project setup what they actually do is take your kotlin files and any external libraries that you might be using compile them bundle up your rest folder and generate an installable file known as apk android package kit when you run your app you can see the information about gradle build running down here it also tells you when your apk is being installed in summary your android project contains kotlin file for the core logic of your app a resource folder for static contents like images and strings an android manifest file that defines essential app details so that the os can actually launch your app and gradle scripts for building and running your application so that's it if you are facing any android related problems feel free to reach me in my discord server there are more than 100 plus developers now and if you liked the video please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who might be interested in learning android development and we'll see you in the next video